to that problem, that's answer D. And now on 19, it says, what's the sum of the solutions here? Find this uh, sum of the uh, solutions, or to get the solutions to absolute value uh, equations, you get two equations. One comes from just dropping the absolute value, 3x minus 7 equals 6, and the other one is from dropping the absolute value and setting the equation equal to the negative uh, 6, the negative of this number right here. And so we uh, add 7 to both sides, we get 3x equals 13, divide through by 3, and I get 13 thirds as one answer, and the other answer is going to be, well, add the uh, 7, and I get 1, add 7 to both sides, and you get 1, divide through by 3, and you get 1 third. Now it says some of the solutions. Well, that would be, sum means to add these. 13 thirds plus 1 third is 14 third. Uh, and actually, we don't even need to do that. It just says, what are the solutions? So these are the two solutions. If it said sum of the solutions, you'd have to add them together. So we don't need to do that. We just need to give the two solutions, and that's answer D. Okay, the last one here says uh, get the equation of the line that goes through this point, negative 1, 2, and is parallel to the equation 12x minus 3y equals 10. Well, if it's parallel to it, it's going to have the same slope, so we need to get the slope of this line. To get the slope of this line, solve it for y, and what I did is I added 3y to both sides and I added 10 to both sides to get 12x plus 10 equals 3y. Now divide both sides by 3. 12x divided by 3 is 4x, and 10 divided by 3 is 10 thirds, but here's the important number right here. The slope is 4. So now I know the slope is 4. I'll put m is 4, and I also have a point. So now I could use the point-slope formula, which is y equals m times x minus x1 plus y1. So let's fill in what we have. We get y equals, the m is 4, 4 times x minus, the x1 is a minus 1, so it's going to be, see this is my x1, this is my y1, so it's going to be x minus a minus 1, which is x plus 1, plus y1, which is 2, so plus 2. Now simplifying this a little bit, we would get y equals, take the 4 through and you get 4x plus 4, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 more makes 6. So y equals 4x plus 6, and that's answer E. And that's that uh, COM section done.